I've got a lot of teachers in my life. My mom was a teacher, my fiance is a teacher, my sister-in-law is a teacher, my fiance's mother is a teacher. I know teachers. If you live with a teacher, you know what I'm talking about. First off, they always tell you, wash your hands. You might think you wash your hands, but you don't. Not enough, not according to a teacher. So they're always going to remind you to wash your hands. And if you're not washing your hands, you better put on that Purell. You will be given impromptu quizzes at places like the dinner table, where all of a sudden they're like, tell me the capital of Wyoming. I don't know. You oftentimes get told to use your inside voice. I didn't even know I had an inside voice. I just assumed I had one voice that was both used inside and outside. But you gotta use your inside voice. If you live with a teacher, you are waking up at 5 a.m. That's right, because that's their wake up time, which means that's your wake up time. That alarm is blaring. Everyone's waking up. The person you're with comes home wearing glitter. Other people might think they went to a strip club. Not a teacher. They probably had arts and crafts. They make you eat things like apples. Ugh. You get reprimanded in that teacher voice. That's just very calm but full of authority. Sit down. Sit. Down. You can always tell when a teacher is bored with you because all of a sudden they will start playing a video. Forget about making plans on Sunday nights. It ain't happening because that's their time for lesson plans. So you are on your own. If you want to watch Game of Thrones, you are watching it solo. They get holidays off, so that's really fun. You just have to plan your entire schedule around those holidays. The good thing about holidays is you get lots of gift cards. So I hope you like Chili's or Cheesecake Factory or Olive Garden or any of those delicious places because you're going there courtesy of the parents of the students and I say yes! Thank you. I love gift cards. You get very acquainted with cold medicines because guess what? You're always sick. If those students are sick, you're sick. If someone in the class gets a cold, then the teacher's getting a cold, which means you get a cold, and you get a cold, and you get a cold, and we all get colds. The person you're with will fall asleep every night at 6 p.m. So I hope you don't like hanging out with them because they're falling asleep at 6 p.m. And not by choice. They literally just pass out. They make you solve math problems without a calculator. Like, what's nine times seven? I don't know, I got a calculator for that. Have you washed your hands? Just wanna remind you, wash your hands. Did you wash your hands? I'm not sure, you gotta wash your hands. If you go out on the town with a teacher, just be prepared that at some point, you might run into a parent who goes, hey, miss so-and-so, I didn't know you drank. What? No. They drink a lot of coffee. Like a lot. And if they don't have their coffee, you better watch out. Where's my coffee? I need my coffee. Give me my coffee. <sighs> you know how you really know you're living with a teacher? They're poor. So pay them more money. Pay them more money. Anytime you write something, it could be a grocery store list. It could be a love note. They will correct it with a red pen. They'll use weird slang like hips and lips. They say things like crisscross applesauce when you sit down. That's not how I sit down. I don't crisscross applesauce. I just sit down. But the best thing about teachers is that they are awesome. They take care of everybody in their life. And so if you were with a teacher, you are very hashtag blessed. And they read you a bedtime story every night. We love you, teachers.